In this video, we're going to continue to have a look at multiplying thirds. We've got three more examples to have a look at that are going to build on our previous ideas. Okay, so we've got examples 7, 8 and 9. Unlike before, we now have numbers in front of our thirds. In order to solve problems such as this, we just multiply the whole numbers together and then resolve the thirds. So this is going to give me 10 root 12. So here I've got that 5 times 2 is 10, then I'll uh, combine these two thirds together. I can simplify this a bit further because there is a square number that goes into 12. That's 4, a square number that goes into 12. We can then split up, so 10 lots of root 4 times root 3. So the square root of 4 is 2, so I've got 10 times 2. So that's going to give me 20 root 3. Example 8. Ten root two times three root two. Well ten times three is thirty. And we've got root two multiplied by root two. Remember this is one of these shortcut questions or shortcut thirds, because when we do root two times two, or sorry, when we get when we do root two times root two, we just get two out. Yeah, because if we did that at the side, root two times root two is root four, which is two. So we can just use that shortcut. So our answer to this problem is just 60. No thirds there. Lastly, number 9. 2 root 21 multiplied by 6 root 3. What's that? That's going to be 12 root 63. Is there a square number that goes into 63? Oh, yeah, well that's 9 sevens. That's going to be 12 times root 9 times root 7. Remember, there's a wee multiplication there. Square root of 9 is 3. So it's going to be 12 times 3. 36 root 7. Okay, just three examples here to show you how that works through. Thank you very much.